The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Kevin Owens. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds. Sammy Zayn! A win here tonight could be big for Sammy Zayn. But it won't be easy, Michael. I can tell you that. The one man wrecking crew has arrived. And his opponent from Sheryl's for North Carolina, weighing in at three. brutality and ever since his return Strowman has been on a path of destruction I certainly hope the ring has been reinforced for this one it's ready to handle a monster beatdown Strowman believes there is no one in the WWE he can't overpower inside the ring. When Braun sees an obstacle in his way, he goes full steam ahead, intent on smashing his way through it. It's a simple approach to competition, but with Strowman's nearly unrivaled strength, it's proven very effective for the big man. He can plow through any roadblock in his path. Yeah, once Strowman gets going, it can be very difficult to slow him down. And coming out of the other corner is Sami Zayn. You better recognize that Sami brings the fight and will make you believe. If Sami's heart is beating, he's got a chance. Whether you believe in Sami's cause or not, you can't deny his unrelenting determination. He's dedicated his life to this business. It's over! That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Tossing them aside. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Able to interrupt the attack. High knee right between the shoulders. Tossed into the corner. He's got the shoulders down. Not quite there yet. No harm in seeing if he could finish him off quick there. He's got the answer for that one. Caught him with a big boot. On the mark. It may sound too simple, but I'm just going to say it. All Braun has to do to win this thing is let loose his full, unbridled power. No one can stand up to the force that is Braun Strowman, no matter how tough they are. You might be right, Corey. If Strowman is able to make smart use of his unmatched power, he could have this thing in the bag. You can't prepare your face for that. And Sammy's focus looked like it was shaking after that. Ouch! That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. And he retaliates on Strowman. Big forearm. Strong counters from Strowman. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Sammy Zayn, takedown. And just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. What now? I got right to the gut. The cover, shoulders down. Slam the door yet. Oh, oh, oh. DDT! Talk about devastation. Uh. Able to reverse that one. And another counter. Yeah. Oh, saw what was 
is coming and answers with the clothesline. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Power slam incoming. No. Counter into an inverted DDT. Getting him into the corner. The oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. He thinks he has it. He narrowly avoids the count. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Back suplex. Spine crushing. That was quite the impact on the apron. You might be in shock now, but you'll be feeling lasting pain for a few weeks to come. He's heading back to the ring. Uh-oh. Into the chop block. A debilitating counter there. He's going for it all. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Up high, cross body from the top. Looking for the victory. Two. And a victory, a win. Here is your winner, Sami Zayn. Somehow tonight, Braun Strowman was stopped. The monster of all monsters wasn't monstrous enough in the end. Here comes a truly vicious superstar. And Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew. This is a man who certainly is never shy about torturing his opponents. This dude is one of the most impressive young superstars we've seen. Braun Breaker on a meteoric rise in WWE. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker!
We've seen a fury to Braun Breaker, a fiery temper that fuels him in the ring. And that fire cannot be extinguished. Technique, drive, on paper, all the attributes of a top talent. Yeah, Braun Breaker just seems destined for very big things. Drew Gulak seems to always have a chip on his shoulder. Always fighting hard like he's got something to prove and everything to lose. It's one of the many things I respect about Gulak. Along with the impressive in-ring skill set he's developed over nearly two decades. Yeah, and when Gulak combines all that in-ring knowledge with his tenacious attitude, he's been known to produce some pretty spectacular results. And let's hope he's ready for the absolute physical dominance of Braun Breaker. It'll be no easy task, Saxton. Braun Breaker hit the WWE ring at full speed and hasn't slowed down. A paragon of athleticism. It's hard to match not only Breaker's strength, but his speed and agility as well. Gotta find a way to get out of this. That was just malicious. Insulting. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyperextend your elbow. And when you think of Braun Breaker, you really think of potential. Does he have a singular attribute he should lean on in this match? I got two for you, Cole. Power and natural ability. Braun Breaker is simply not normal, but he was absolutely made for in-ring competition. When you factor in that, Braun's chances of winning drastically go up. And that intensity of Braun's got tapered down a bit there. Gulak showed off some of his impressive skill set with that attack. On oh, a slam. Counters that. And then, oh my God, what a far! Right to the jaw. Braun fires back. Belly to belly suplex. I'll escape. Oh, a big boot. Oh, reversal catches Gulak. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Phew, that was close. Breakers fired up one. Oh, he grew tired of his smug attitude. Shifts it back onto it. Suplex, oh. here it comes. Nicely done. And that'll be a rope break right there. Dominating shoulder tackle. Oh man, he has fired up now. Great counter. Scoop slam, making it look easy. He may be in a bad way here. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. What a right suplex. Ooh. Proved to be irreparable. Sharp punch. These two trading one blow after another. Gulak turns it around. Man, that did not look good at all for Breaker. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. 
The fight is on, and it's furious. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all around. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. Ah, look at this. Now that'll do some serious damage. Gulak looking for the Gulak. Good night. An extreme amount of pressure. Oh, and he gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. He may get the three count right here. I think so. Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, Drew Gulak. So it's Braun Breaker on the losing side here. All handed to Drew Gulak. His research and studies got him a win here tonight. Well, the team's going to decide who actually starts this match as the legal partner. Seems to be a little trouble in paradise before the opening bell. Okay, it looks like we finally have got it settled here. Here There's we go. The bell. Some dissension among the ranks, guys. It is critical to put teamwork ahead of ego in this match. As this match gets underway, there's clearly no love lost in this one. The thing about this is, these superstars don't just dislike each other. They don't respect each other. No, in this business, you have to earn your respect. If a handshake doesn't work, maybe a little beatdown will. Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I say. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Got the knees up. Round and round into the satellite DDT. Driving down with the axe handle. Now uh, hooking him up. Face first. Driven down. Wow. Breathtaking standing shooting star. He got whipped into that corner. Counter. And now there's an opening. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Up and down, like being manhandled by a bear. Throws up the shoulder. I thought he might have had him there, but it's early. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Tagged in. He eludes the contact. Strong takedown there. Now he's been put on the defensive. I think Cross just advanced the count on the doomsday clock with that attack. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Beautiful takedown into the account. All the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight it. He's trying to break out and does it. Seth Rollins hooking his opponent in the small package driver. Hooked up. There's a 
small package driver. Hoist it up. Oh, the clothesline. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Into the corner. This can't be good. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Dar losing some focus on the task at hand. Yeah, Rollins looks sharp there. Physically, mentally, and fashionably. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? He turns it around. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. Pre-calculated, hoping to greatly diminish the power in that arm. Reversal from Noam Dar. Riding their opponent down to the incredibly important moment right there, being able to get to the ropes. It can't be understated how much that could have just saved this match. Off the turnbuckle. What's he gonna do? Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Up high. To hit the bullseye. Powerful spark buster. And he gets the tag. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel than this fire right now. Lately, things have been a tad heated between these competitors. Yeah, this could develop into a pretty serious rivalry if it keeps escalating. Maybe they'll squash the beef here and now, and that'll be the end of it. Oh. Slam. That should do it right there! Hey, wait, 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 how can that be fair? Come on, Rev, keep these guys in check. There he goes, right into the corner. Tackle. He is just reeling from that offense. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Got the tag. Got the tag. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Using the rope to their advantage, just stretching the arm. Oh, how painful. And Noam is countered. Suplex. He gets tagged in. Blasted by a forearm. There's the tag. Insecurity finds its mark. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Oof. Enable to counter. Carrying Cross looking to deliver. Downright extraordinary. And Cross with a look of absolute fury on his face. He doesn't like being defied and really thought he had this one here. No backing down here. They really want to make sure the best man comes out on top in this one. Legs caught. Close line takes him down. Forget about it. 
And Rollins couldn't get out of harm's way there. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Right into the leg lock. They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down and delivering nasty stops. For a power slam, steps down from behind into an inverted DDT. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. Still not enough to put him away. Oh. Ah, look at this. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Sent into the corner. Rollins got out of the way. Oh, there's some gouging going on. Oh, that's unnecessary. Hoist it up. Cut buster. Oh! You can't take much more of this. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Bam! Oh, across the top rope. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Beautiful takedown into the Achilles lock. I'm not quite on a save. Just in the nick of time. One. Will it be? I think so. And he fights it off. So so close. That could have been it. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. Jarring impact. Seth Rollins with the tag. Rollins in the line of fire. Taking it on the mouth. Oh no, trapping the arm. Vicious stomps to the hand. Tagged into action. Oh, hello. He's been placed in the corner now. Solely focused on in the corner. This place has come unglued. Rightfully so. Boom, nice. He's just getting beaten on all fronts here. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Blatant disregard for their opponent. Oh, right in there. Raped across the top rope. Abandoned. Able to avoid there. Delivers the knee. And another onslaught from Kerry and Cross. Yeah, Rollins has been broken down over the course of this match. Face first in the turnbuckle. Uh oh. And the counter from Rollins. Into the corner now. Shot right to the gut. is still going on to five. Here it comes! Stop! Carrion looks out of it. Oh, I thought it was over, but again! Can we please get some control? Tag is registered. He skirts around it. No, oh, flesh on flesh. Nothing pretty about it. Cross out of harm's way. Oh, 
Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Oh, vicious headbutt. This match is brutality starting to show up. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to... Here he goes for the win. And he clubs it out. And a kick out at two. And you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Gets the tag. Coming back from that. Cover! And he makes the save for his team. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. They have them in the corner. Set Rollins. Rollins looks determined. Slight blade. Impressive reversal on Rollins. Tossed with ease. Boy, oh, European uppercut. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. Goodness gracious. Set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Uh-oh, look out. Oh, an exploder suplex into the corner. Is made and he's coming in hot. <laughs> Down with the door buster. This could do it. It is enough. Finally, it's over. Here are your winners. You have to be feeling absolutely gutted, losing after going through a dispute like that. Yes, Saxon, I can't imagine what that feels like right now. You got to wonder if it's possible to get back on the horse after that. There's no telling what's going to happen with their relationship after this loss. Yeah, this is a big hurdle to overcome. Matchup underway. Oh, no! Oh, gosh. Inadvertently strikes the official. I mean, it's blatantly obvious. The superstar didn't do it intentionally, but the official's down, and now anything truly can happen. Yeah, there's no official out here to keep the order. Can we get some help for our official? Is that an official start? The referee was able to start the match, so we are proceeding with this match. Yeah, guys, there is no way that doesn't play a part in this one. Saxton, in this yeah. business, you got to keep your head on a swivel, no matter who you are. That was just a quick reminder. Oh, God, that hurt.
Edwards out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Oh, face stop. Reversal. What a counter. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. right on their face. And that failed to hit the mark. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Oh, right across the top row. Right? And there is no other term for that than just cheap, a cheap shot. Oh, direct impact to the chest. Dragunov not appearing so invincible there. Hayes put a hurting on him with that one. And when you're dealing with an athlete of Carmelo Hayes' caliber, you have to think you're at a huge physical disadvantage. No argument there, but athleticism doesn't equal knowledge. Hayes is still a rising star in this business. Force him into unfamiliar territory, and you can catch him slipping. He can do it here. Kick out just in time. He got close there. It could be do or die time. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Inferno DDT. Lights out, and Hayes is in command. Carmelo's holding nothing back. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. Oh, DDT. Hooked him up. High angle belly of back suplex. Whip back into the ring. Block up. Oh, right right down. Down. It cinched it. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. It has to be demoralizing to just get slapped like that. If that doesn't fire you up, I don't know what will. Oh man! Just hot shot it to the outside. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Hip toss! Watch out! They're coming towards the announce desk! What the hell are you doing, Byron? The end is looming now. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Slice bread, but a counter power slam. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is. But they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. Power bomb! Dragunov really showing what he's made of here with that power and intensity. Hoping to end it here! This is it! They might not be in the best shape right now, but they have to be feeling good after that win. I'll give them one thing. They definitely know how to take a beating. I wouldn't exactly call the cheap shot they took a beating, but I'll agree that their resilience paid off here.
The WWE Universe just exploded. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, looks as ready as ever for action tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. The Rhodes name means he was born with this business in his blood. He's finally been able to tap into that, and we are now witnessing his full capabilities. Indeed, Corey, the American Nightmare has become a reality. For everything Rhodes has accomplished during his tenures in WWE, he's made his mark across the wrestling world. Every promotion he stepped foot in has been transformed for the better, thanks to the American Nightmare. But we all know he's got the best work ahead of him here in WWE. I'd say it's about high time for a little British strong style. And his opponent from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Well, how about this? The first and last NXT UK champ in the building. Well, Tyler Bate is always down for a fight and always ready to get it on. Master Bate has remarkable poise to go with the flow. Bates the first NXT UK Triple Crown Champion, NXT UK Champ, Tag Champ, and NXT Heritage Cup Champion. Big, strong boy vibes all day. No weak link in his game. A true example of British strong style. One of the youngest champions ever in the history of WWE, Tyler Bate has found tremendous success early in his career. An absolute student of the sport, Bate has breathed new life into that classic UK style. Throwing his impressive strength and athleticism, and there's no telling how many more accomplishments he'll add to his resume. Size has never been an issue for Bate. This is a man who's always standing tall. And he'll be met by the American nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody left here a boy and came back a man with the heart of 10 men. Remember, this is the guy who wrestled a Hell in a Cell match with a torn peck. He'll stop at nothing as long as his heart is pumping. Picture perfect drop kick. Cody has him up. Third breaker. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Laying out with a power slam. Off into the pin. Two count power story after two. Close call. That was almost lights out. Heads out on the apron. Springboard off. Cody Rose performing at his very best now that he's back in WWE. Corey, how can his opponent prepare tonight? Cody Rhodes loves to play mind games with his opponents. He is the American Nightmare after all. 
If you're up against Cody, the key is not to let him get in your head. Otherwise, you've already lost. Face first. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Oof, nails the midsection. Oh, dear, this doesn't look good. That's a free fall. An unrelenting assault being brought to bait. Rose is unloading offense here. Nothing's gonna stop it. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Wards off that offense from Cody. Not a forearm. He went right into that turnbuckle. And like a pie and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Springboard misses the target. And drop suplex. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Uh-oh. Dark matter. Oh, no, I think that one broke the skin on Bates' face. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Oh, that hurt. The end may be in sight for his opponent here. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Elbow drop. Oh, that might have just broken something. Uh-oh. Way too much. And Rhodes continuing his charge. Beat. And now they're about to do it, folks. Here is your winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Tyler Bates suffering a loss here tonight. A victorious chapter in the book of the American Nightmare. Cody came into this match with a purpose, and now he is standing tall. Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Damian Priest, representing the Judgment Day from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor. The Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night, and their accolades grow with every match. Now, this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario, always having each other's back. Well, they create chaos, 
And Judgment Day thrives in chaos. The original, the official, the only club that matters. And his opponent, accompanied by Carl Anderson, representing the OC by way of Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 292 pounds, Luke Gallows. You know you are in for an all-out fight facing the OC. Two men with a high in-ring IQ, high intensity, and high goals to achieve. As Finn Balor's been on this path of judgment as of late, he's really shown a side of him that a lot of us never thought possible, proving he's one of the most devious superstars in all of WWE. Devious, cunning, these are the qualities you need to have to make it to the top in WWE. Balor knows that, just like he knows you can't just wait for opportunities. You have to take them. This match is yet another opportunity for Balor to capitalize on, I'm sure. But he's got to deal with the towering Luke Gallows. A brawler of a big man who has no shortage of fight in his heart. Being mean and making green are two things Gallows is an expert in. I certainly don't envy anyone who steps into the ring with a near seven-footer. We talk a lot about determined superstars, tenacious superstars. Finn Balor definitely fits that bill, but Corey, will that benefit him here tonight? Tenacity is fine and all, but in Balor's case, it needs to be paired with his explosiveness and ability to get things done. Otherwise, it's just another guy getting beaten down easily. He's absorbed some damage already. Yeah, Balor taking a vicious approach with that maneuver, doing what it takes to produce results. a break. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Into the corner he goes. Well, this matchup has been pretty even so far. Both men down. Collision middle of the ring. Pivotal point in the matchup, and the manager wants to let his presence be known. What, what is happening here? These two can't be inside the ring. Tempers yeah. obviously gotten out of control. Get him out of here. Good job, referee. And you too. Get it done, get it done. Referee clears the ringside. Now neither competitor has anyone in their corner. Maybe this will be a fairer fight now? Well, it definitely cuts down on the distractions moving forward. Effective. This could do it. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Finn Balor. Well, I guess we know who had more fight in them. Or just who got the better end of that chaotic free-for-all earlier on. Or either way, they managed to get the win. This was a battle. They proved they knew how to handle themselves when things get hectic. Boy, I'll say, it's almost like they enjoyed that violent turn of events earlier.
Big E ready to throw down here tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida. Weighing in at 285 pounds. Big E! Big E ready to get down to business. And that business, Michael, is swiveling his hips and flattening the opposition. The Almighty is here. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the Almighty Bobby Lashley. The Almighty is always on his grind and steps up to any challenge presented. An incredible resume of championship accolades. Bobby Lashley has held the United States Championship, Intercontinental, ECW, and WWE titles multiple times each. There's the bell, and Biggie is ready for action tonight. That's because when you possess the power of positivity, you're always ready. And while Biggie might be the epitome of lighthearted and good natured outside the ring, he is all business when the bell rings. He definitely looks ready to get down to business here. I just hope he knows what he's getting into as he's stepping into the lion's den with the almighty Bobby Lashley. Even if he does, Bobby is still a true force to be reckoned with. Dominance is basically his middle name. Looking wobbly in the corner. What a throw. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Max no. suplex. Oh, my goodness. After that attack on the apron, there is no way we're seeing them leave this arena without medical assistance. Repeated waist lock takedowns. Battling ringside, and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. Tackle. Oh, watch this display of power. I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. A power bomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Oh, face first off the apron. Imagine having to continue competing after eating the apron like that their opponent like they're nothing. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. All right, so this usually isn't the advice I'd give a big man, but Big E is no ordinary big man. He needs to slow it down in there. Big E's speed and agility are as impressive as everything else about him, but they also can truly lead him to make mistakes. And the competition level is so high here in WWE that it only takes one mistake to lead to a loss. Slam. 
Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Big time. Here's the cover. Barely kicks out. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Oh, caught by the back elbow. Close line. So effective. Big E climbs. What's on his mind? He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Launching. Diving shoulder tackle. I don't care how much you train, you can't prepare for a commercial airliner to come crashing down on you like that. Suplex delivered. Able to give him the slip. Shoulder tackle. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, I think Lashley put all of his might behind that. Being carried around with ease. Isolating the arm. Oh, no! A huge miss. There's bad timing, and then there's whatever you want to call that. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Down to Ponis, and a double axe handle smash. Oh, he knew what was coming. Plan here can't be good. You are guaranteed to hit a steel beam out on the apron, and they definitely just felt all of it. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Getting him into the corner. Wicked clothesline. Just mounted with punches and not and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. There. Oh, I heard a snap. Crackle. Pop. This one's all but over. Clean it out. Fights out at two. A long two and a half in the waning moment. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, picking up the victory as his opponent does his best Saxton. Here is your winner, the almighty Bobby Lashley. A surprisingly fast victory here tonight. Clever is really the only word that can describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it certainly worked. He looks great with all that gold on him. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 275 pounds. The world heavyweight champion. And the end. The 
Just think about the grind that comes with being a double champion. As great as the glory is, the hard work that comes with it is no joke. Yeah, he may look good showing off the gold, but he's got to look good defending it as well. Otherwise, it'll be gone. Hauling around two titles does put a huge target on his back, though. Everyone wants a piece of him, a shot at one of those titles, but he's holding on with a vice-like grip. The king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. And his opponents first from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220. We are taking in the totally unique style and attitude of Shinsuke Nakamura. A man who does what he wants, who lives his life his way. Doesn't hesitate to punish those who cross his path. Well, don't come between Shinsuke and his goals. Simple as that. Shinsuke's proven it with newfound brutality. A Lucha Libre megastar now looking to dominate WWE. I'd say there's a very good chance he'll do that. And representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. It is time to pay respect to the boss of the street. Santos Escobar does not play games. Escobar is calm, steady, calculated, and does whatever he has to do to succeed. Gentlemen, when Escobar competes, greatness may just be imminent. And Santos isn't one to waste a big opportunity when he gets one. He will fight his heart out to achieve his goals. Three competitors at odds with each other now look to settle things in this triple threat match. Set for competition, we have Randy Orton, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Santos Escobar. Three competitors, one fall to a win. And... Uh-oh. What are they going to do here? How about a little? Oh, the gory. He breaks up the hold. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Wrenches the arm. Oh. Ooh, nasty kick. He steers clear of contact. Oh, knee to the bread basket. Brought down. Reverse. 
reversal from Nakamura. Devastating counter. Scouting paid off with a DDT. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Look out! Suicide dive to the outside. Cole does it better. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. And did you hear the impact of that? What a punch! He turns it around. And he gets set back into the ring. I'd have to think that a no disqualification match favors the most heartless competitor in the ring. Well, that's mostly true, but even the most rule-abiding superstar... No way! ...and gets tossed back into the mat. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. And some effective offense with that one. And the King of Strong Style himself took a hard and impactful hit there. Pulled in from belly to belly. Locks the boots, connects to the back of the neck. High speed, the sliding German. Punch right in the head. A oh, reversal catches Santos. Hoist it up, into the snap suplex. Oh man, spine crushing impact. Of counter. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Big forearm. Boom. Sit out slam. Oh, what a kick. Here's the snapmare. Followed by the knee drop. And a fracture in orbital. Big boots. Kick out. I think this match still has a ways to go. And set right into the corner. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. Big shot taken. That one's going to leave a well. Expected that one. Right, right in the solar plexus. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. One after the other. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. And he tosses him back in now. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, a sledgehammer to the midsection will knock the wind out of you. And he goes for the pin. Stops the count before a two. Not time to expect victory yet. Kick to the midsection. Could be thinking about the gory special. Yes, that's exactly what... Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Oh, man. Adding more injury to injury with that hammer. He went right into that turnbuckle. Sequence of reversals there. Let's keep fighting. Nakamura gets the counter. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. He must have had that scouted. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. He switches it back around. Escobar connecting with the Phantom Driver. Escobar has this wrapped up. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Here it comes, Corey. 
Here we go. Kinsasa! Orton is done. What a forearm. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. This their opponent's uh, legs. Uh, oh. Ouch. And the cover for the win. This is it. No, stops the count at two. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Oh, a kick right to the gut. Another, another one. Close line. Nice combo. After what we've seen so far, you cannot question the lengths these superstars are willing to go. The limits of physical exhaustion are being surpassed at this point. Oof, had it scouted and met with a back elbow. And now here come the punch. This is it. That could have been it right there. My side headlock applied. Oh. Good measure. We got a cover. And still in this. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Scouting pays off against Nakamura. The steel chair. Looks like he's opted to go with the simple but effective statement here. Somehow, some way, Nakamura continues his battle. He will not stay down. Orton is going to have to keep his composure moving forward. He thought he'd put him down with that one, and now he's got to think of another one. Boom! Back drop, super on a high angle, right across the shoulders. The WWE Universe can't believe what these Warriors are doing to one another. Everyone's fired up. What a battle! Ooh, nasty kick. Placed in the corner. Oh, the wind just knocked right out with that. And more fight being brought to Orton there. Shinsuke turning the dial up to 11 right now. Stiff shot to the abdomen. Alley oop! He thinks he has it! And he breaks up the pinfall. Sidekick finds the mark. Oh, man! Check this out. Oh, backbreaker. Oh, did we just see a two fly out? Steer clear of that. Able to get the advantage here. Shinsuke Nakamura. Landslide by Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh oh. Nakamura was ready for that one. What, what do you say? I mean, this this is this is amazing. Shinsuke Nakamura with a nice reversal. He shuts up by Shinsuke Nakamura. Celebration imminent for Nakamura. Shoulder up before three. How close was that? That was about as close as it could get without it all being over for him. Nakamura thought he had him, thought he had this match all wrapped up. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goat's curse is in effect. Oh, I can't. And he breaks the hold. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. He's got him scouted. Rick. Feeling like it's over for Santos. Cover. Randy Orton wins. Here is your winner, the Viper, Randy Orton. Quite the impressive victory coming out on top against two very capable very prepared competitors. I applaud all three of these superstars for pulling off a match like this.
The D'Angelo family is here in business. Very good. Tony and Stax take what they want. The only problem is they want it all. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Tony D'Angelo. Representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 232 pounds, Channing Stacks Lorenzo. Their business ventures are booming. But Tony and Stacks always want more. Yeah, a pair of multiple-time NXT Tag Team Champs look ready to unleash a crime wave on all of WWE. Tony D'Angelo and Stax call WWE their turf, and they are ready for a turf war. Now this is a one-of-a-kind superstar. Amazing high-flying and striking skills. And his opponent, representing the New Day, from Ghana, West Africa, weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston! Kofi Kingston, living proof that hard work pays off in the end. The entire WWE Universe followed Kofi in his decade-plus journey from rookie to respected veteran to WWE Champion. Kofi Mania was truly an unforgettable moment when it all paid off for Kofi at WrestleMania. Michael, Kofi continues to inspire people to this day, and I think even more people will be inspired tonight. Stax is a man on a mission, doing whatever he can to make sure his family is protected and provided for. For Stax, this is all sink or swim, and he intends to swim. Looks like we're about to see just how well Stax swims any moment now. And he's facing off against Kofi Kingston, a man who always has the power of positivity on his side. As cheesy as that is, there's no denying what Kofi's been able to accomplish with it. Flash. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. And Stax didn't figure out a defense for that maneuver. Leg breaker. Kofi Kingston is known for his resilience in the ring, his tenacity. How can you face off against someone like that? Let me remind you, resilience does not mean invulnerability. Beat Kofi down long enough, he'll eventually fall, just like any other man. Setting up for something here. Right across the larynx. Brutal stomp to the body. And oh, and then the chest as well. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Oh, my goodness. Just strike it at will. He could pin his opponent right here. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Kofi Kingston needs to rally. Continuing the beating on Kofi. Just wearing Kingston down with no resilience being shown. Point of the elbow finds the mark. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, as Kofi knows when it's time to unload some of that positivity onto others. 
And running knee. Ooh, right between the shoulder blades. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? First, a knife edge chop, and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. Wrestling 101. If you can't stand, you can't fight. Right to the kidneys from behind. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. An unbelievable sequence from Kofi. Stax needs to find that spark. Great reversal. Now Stax looking for some momentum. This could be a good chance for Stax to get some distance and rethink things. Try by The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars are actually fairly eager. Oh, kick to the stomach. Look at this knee drop. Bang! Is it the finishing touch Stax needs? He kicks out somehow. Kofi has fought too hard for too long to let this one end. That was the best weapon in the arsenal, but it wasn't enough to produce an end result. Stacks just adding salt to the wound right now. Kofi turns it around. Off the springboard. Rainbow with the chop. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. Maybe just stay down, man. Kofi kicks it. No way Stacks can come back from that. Cover. Two. An exhausting victory, but a win nonetheless. Here is your winner. Fought victory for Kofi Kingston. Kofi wins! Kofi wins because New Day rocks! New Day rocks! Sit down, Saxton.